Hey everybody, Tim here with today's episode of Enterprise. Season 3, episode 21, E Squared, which is arguably the shortest title uh, as far as visual, because it's E and then you got the little two, so it's only like half a character. But there's also the episode Q2, and I don't know, if you spell out two and you spell out squared, like, ugh, it kind of gets iffy. I'm actually going to go with Q2, just because I love that episode, so I'd rather see it win. But either way, it's in there within the top two of the shortest titles ever. Um, no, this episode was a wreck. Uh, it's like the whole time travel thing, but it's not. So... Archer has to reach the council in three days, even though they're, I think they're like three weeks away or something. And Degra's like, oh no, just use this subspace corridor, you'll be good. <clears throat> so he goes to use it, and an older, more advanced Enterprise shows up. And already, you can kind of see where it's going. And it's almost like the Deep Space Nine episode, but that was actually a good one, whereas this one's not. And where, like, Deep Space Nine, they, like, crashed on the planet, and you saw their descendants, and Odo was there. It was fantastic. This one, like, it turns out that the, when they go through the corridor, they're attacked, and they're thrown 117 years in the past. And so they've just been kind of wandering around this expanse, trying to hide for over a century, and it's just like, so we see uh, Archer's great-granddaughter, and then we see T'Pol and Tripp's son, who's like the captain. And it's like, okay, that's, I mean, it's kind of interesting. He would technically be the first Vulcan-human hybrid, like, long before Spock is. And t I think they actually said Spock wasn't the first hybrid either, if I remember correctly. And overall, it's okay. It's just one of those, like, they, they fight because, of course, they can't get together. To Paul in the old makeup is to Pauling. Oh, that was great. That was terrible. Um, anyway, um, so just seeing her in the old makeup, because, I mean, granted, it's 117 years in the future, but she shouldn't look that old. Like, she should still look pretty good. I mean, look how old Sarek was in The Next Generation. He was fine. So they went way overboard with that. <clears throat> And then, like, as the double crosses start going back and forth, finally both Enterprises go through the corridor because now it works, and only our Enterprise comes out. Now, did the other one cease to exist because they changed the timeline? Who knows? Who cares? It's a bad episode. For those who have seen it, what did you guys think about it? What do you think about the whole hybrid thing? Go ahead, let me know, and I will see you guys next time for The Council.